Hi guys, so now I'm going to be doing the uh, Big 27th uh, review, or looking at what it has and how, how, how it should perform. Fortunately, Tank is done, has his video on it already, but you know, that's the thing with them being bigger content creators. Haha, <laughs> it's our job! So the Big 27M, very high IMAX speed, huge variety of weapon presets, smart weapons, which is I think the first in the game. Variable sweep wing. Cons, full amount of countermeasures, and lack of sensors to detect targets. Now, I don't know what that means, but. Da 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 da. Mach 1.8. Suspended weapons. Switch new type of guided bomb units. Awesome. Russian by. <laughs> Mark point eight again. Oh, these are going to be very interesting. One of the central changes in between seven of compared to its predecessor is the placement of a thirty millimeter six barrel rotary cannon and a special niche, niche, niche under the fuselage. This adapted naval gun has a rate of about rate of fire of about five. Thousand rounds per minute, and is equipped with several types of ammunition, including AP and AP-2 shells for destruction of ground targets. In order to put our drawback, is the gun has a relatively small ammunition, up to 300 rounds, which in the heat of battle is consumed literally in a matter of seconds. But this sound, the rolling roar of the rotary gun, makes you forget, forgive every, everything for the brilliant gun. No, 300 rounds of ammunition. Oh god, dude, that's dumb. Why didn't they give it like 500 or 1,000? Ugh! It's got a big enough engine to carry it! Uh, you got the GSH-23L gun pods, don't bring those. The S5KP, those are okay. S24s, those are great. 100 kilogram bombs, 250 kilogram bombs, 500 kilogram bombs. Guided weapons, R60. Ooh! R13M1s, which are good for radar missiles, as well as air-to-air, air, air-to-surface missiles, the KH-29L, the KH-29T, the KH-23M, the manual, with the manual command site, unlike the secret Maverick missiles, the KH-29 and the FOB-500, uh, the FOB-500, Okay, our guided bombs. Ah, TV correctional seeker. Interesting. But so, basically, you have you have guided weapons that aren't like lock onto a target; they're locked on a specific point. It's kind of like a laser detonator, but I, I guess it's TV. Huh, interesting. But it can carry four of the gauges, which is nice. Good bomb load. Good gun. Fast. And it's a platypus. Well, anyway, that should be it for the vehicle. Um, if you enjoyed, ooh, R13s. Those look nice. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and like and comment because I like comments. Keeps me, you know, wanting to do this and notifications. Because uh, I will be putting out a lot more of this stuff for the event. Um, well, thank you for watching, and bye bye.